you can join me in singing this song. You are good, you are kind. Almighty oh, God, you are good, you are kind. Almighty oh, God, you are good, you are kind. Almighty oh, God, you are good, you are kind, Jehovah. Almighty oh, God, you are good, you are kind. Almighty oh, God, you are good, you are kind. Almighty oh, God, you are good, you are kind. Almighty oh, God, you are good, you are kind, Jehovah. Almighty oh, God, let the living praise the Lord. The Lord is good, the Lord is kind. His mercies endure it forever. May you and I keep enjoying the mercies of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I was in prayers moments ago, and the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the lives of some of our listeners. The Lord said, by the time I declare this prophetic word, the person that is consigned, we know. The Lord said, don't fear. It wouldn't result into police case. God said he will intervene on your behalf and set to it amicably for you. Praise God. Praise God. Those are the words of the Lord. It will surely come to pass in Jesus' name. And we are waiting to hear testimony from you. Uh oh, here is another revelation I had. Someone there, you are listening to me. Today makes it the third day. You have been bleeding with pains from your nose tree. Okay, you are the person. Let me pray for you. Almighty God, in Exodus 15:26, you said you are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals us. I'm asking, Lord, that your healing power will come over this person. Heal this person instantly by your mercy and by your power in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. You are healed. It's done. We are waiting to hear your testimony also. Oh, oh who is this mom? And hear the revelation I had. Your baby has been throwing up and running temperature and it's been the fourth day i want to pray for that baby lay your hands on that child will you allow me to pray in the spirit to pray in tongues and then i will pray in understanding the word of the lord says in exodus 23 verse 25 he says, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Let those words of the Lord come to pass upon your baby. Every sickness is I cast into the dry land in Jesus' mighty name. Baby, you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. That child, that baby is healed. And let's hear testimony from you also. This is Charles Adebola's ministries. Today is the 37th day that we have been on this teaching, 40 dreams that are warnings from God. Again and again, I've repeated myself that dreams are very crucial. Dreams are very significant. There are about four sources of dreams. Anytime you have a dream, don't ignore them. Give me a chat immediately. You wake up from the dream, from the sleep, narrating the dreams. And by the grace of God, I will interpret your dreams to you. If they are not good dreams, I will interpret them and minister deliverance to you. And if they are good dreams, I will also interpret them and tell you steps to take towards the fulfillment of such good dreams. Hmm. 
This dream is quite significant, the one we want to consider now. That is, if you dream, and in your dream, your farmland is withered. Ah, it's not a good dream. Your farmland is withered. It implies business losses. It implies investment crash. It's not a good dream. If you ever have that kind of dream, use the scripture to pray against it. Psalm 1, Psalm chapter 1, verses 2 to 3. He says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his laws does he meditate day and night. Take note of verse 3. And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, implying God has designed and planned that you will be fruitful in your season. You will not be barren. Your business will not be barren. Your business will be highly patronized. You will make a lot of profit. You will have a lot of increase. You will experience hundredfold like the case of Jacob in Genesis chapter 26 verse 12. He says, That bringeth forth his fruit in a season, his leaf also shall not withered. Your business will not wither. Your business will not close up. Your investment will not crash. Now look at the last part of that verse. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Wow. God desires you to prosper. He desires you to have an addition, to have profit, to have to go forward, to succeed and that will be your portion in jesus mighty name today i have the leading of the lord to pray concerning your business get hold of whatever symbolize the kind of career profession business or work you are doing and i'm going to pray for you after this announcement please do resend to this audio broadcast to all your contacts and to the whatsapp group you belong to and if it has been someone resending the audio to you, register directly with us so that we can be sending it more prompt to you. Whenever you want to register, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. By the grace of God, it's about twelve midnight every day that we send out fresh broadcast. If it has not been delivered to your devices by six AM, Give us a chat. It's our joy to have it resent to you. Your tithe is 10% of your income and of your profit. God gave a commandment with a promise in Malachi 3.10 that when you pay your tithe, he will open the windows of heaven and pour blessing upon you. There are biblical principles, and when you obey them, you will get biblical results. Anytime you pray or you fast on any issues and the answers are not forthcoming, back up such prayers with sacrificial faith offering. Read the book of Judges, chapter 20. You will find an amazing story there. God instructed the children of Israel that they should go forth into a battle and he assured them of victory. They attempted it once, they were defeated. They went again and they were defeated despite their prayers and fasting until they added a sacrifice to their prayers and to their fasting. Then they received the victory. Do the same, you will receive answers to prayers. The ministry you are listening to, we are into massive work of evangelism. We just solicit for your voluntary financial support. You don't have to be a multi-millionaire nor a billionaire before you can support this ministry. There are those who support us regularly with 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, and even more. Just two days ago, a student supported us with 7,000 naira. Do whichever one you can do, even in the currency of the country where you are residing. When you need the bank that is to do any of this, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. 
This other line is for you to reach me directly for prayers. Plus 2348063319364. Let me pray for you. Get all of whatever symbolizes your kind of career, business, profession, and let us pray. I do decree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that from now, everything you lay your hands upon to do will prosper. You will be patronized. You will experience promotion. You will make profit. It is so in Jesus' mighty name. Resend to this other broadcast of all your contacts. I'm sure they are going to be blessed.